Greetings everyone, and great here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. Spawn on the bottom left side as the Wehrmacht forces, where sky is the limit. Spawn on the north side as the US forces, we have 138766650063. I've been, I think that's, that's like the Steam ID. I'm pretty sure that's related to the fact that sometimes people use a inappropriate name, so their name tend to get censored on Steam. I can't really say for sure. We have a Vermox core being pulled on the field. We've got the rifle barracks being pulled on out. And on a side note as well on this map, this map, I do not know why with the new my new newer graphics card, it tends to cause a lot of lag spikes. Just this map. I have no idea why. I tried looking around to figure out any fixes, but I could not figure out any fixes. Vermox core is now pulled on the field. We do not have any C I do not see anything out on the build queue. My voice is working as well as this map with my computer. Engineer assigned to capture some sectors there. It does get the cutoff point. Going up to this munitions and fuel point there. Deep now pull down the field. First way forward. We do have a Volks Grenadiers in return. Jeep's going to eye to harass some of these pioneers. Cutoff point being captured on up. We do got the engineer's eye for the munitions point as well. That munition point, if you take a look at the mini map right now, will not be in supply once secured. This Pioneer will not be able to win out. With the engineer supply, they can easily win the gate, especially for this Jeep. Jeep hardly took any damage there and does force him back. Does get stalled out a little bit there, denies the cutoff point, and now we've got the Volkskrandiers of Pioneers being sent forward. You can use the Pioneers to capture the sector while the Volkskrandiers protect them. Jeep now receiving some fire there. Will receive some hits on the rear armor. Armor and quotation marks, really, for a vehicle like that. And now we have the Volkswagen advancing on forward, trying to move forward, engage the engineers. Oh, yeah, fuel point being captured on up. Munition point has been captured, but it's way out supply. And we notice here as well. The VP is also captured on the, on the top right of the map with Baron as well. So that Pioneer went forward and captured quite a bit of territory. We have a second Volk Grenadier now being plotted field. Cutoff point has been secured. Engineers have fallen back. And the Pioneers seem a bit more fire there from the Jeep. Both of them are stacked pretty close to each other. Should be able to get some bursts off. They are stop uh, getting pushed around by the Jeep. Let's get some bursts off there. But now the Pioneer is fully withdraw and does fully withdraw there. Folks around here, maybe we'll get an angle there. Needs to perhaps stick to light cover. There One is light cover, cover around our, next to the heavy cover there. Still can't speak today. And now we do have this. Folks around here, some fire there. Got engineers push way forward. Folks around here, trying to eye for the garrison. Interrupted there. Right from the duke inside the house. Good knocker rolling around there with the jeep. And now the folks around here are seeing too much fire. The folks around here need to fall back entirely. This folks around here is eyeing for the cutoff point there. He's known to get, he needs to get both those folks screen leaders together to push these forces out of the sector. And Jeep is going to repair it up. Very nice. Pioneer has captured the flank there. This VP has not been captured. This VP has been recaptured by the US player. Fairmont player does have a slight ticket lead, but that is evening out. And at this point in time, it doesn't really matter all too much. Most of the time, most games do not come down within the last five tickets. Though it does happen occasionally, so it could make a difference. Unlikely though. MG42 now pull on a field. We got this Pioneer capturing up this point there. We're seeing some fire from the rifling. Pioneer squad does fall back there. As we got a couple of rifling squads dancing around far away. Volks right are duking inside this garrison. There's only two windows inside. It's not that great, but I think some of these windows over here were firing. Or the window. And now I hear the Jeep firing away against something. Hitting the M242. Very nice. Good engagement there. We are losing you have the Pioneers running away from the riflemen. The Pioneer is severely wounded. Landmine here was not fully built. This landmine was detonated. I think that was a Pioneer landmine. Not sure what found the landmine. Maybe this engineer squad back here is quite wounded. Now we've got a third Volkskrenadier deployed on the field, along with three Pioneers and a MG42. He may need to get out of Prof Center relatively soon. Now we've got the Volkskrenadier seeing a bit of damage. Right from the squad, we're seeing a bit of damage there. 
and this uh, Volkskrin or Engineer Death Squad does fall back. We do have two squads of Volkskrin Engineer Squad, needs to focus on the engin Flamer Engineer. Flamer Engineer doesn't have a whole lot of health left, make that one model left. Now needs to focus on the Rifleman Squad, good focus firing there, forcing back the Rifleman as well. We do have this cutoff point captured by the US player, so he will need to recapture it in order to get those other sectors in supply. Advance on forward, Jeep advancing on back. Now here we have now the Pioneers being engaged by the Rifleman. The Rifleman Squad only has four members, but still it has enough firepower to force back a Pioneer. Pioneer not receiving additional fire there. Keep advancing forward, trying to get some damage over here. We do have the supply yard and triage center here. No comp craft center just yet. MG42 reporting. Unknown doctrine selected. No additional battle phase at the moment. Let's see what the US player has at the moment. Uh, looks like nothing else at the moment. No bars. He could potentially have sticky bomb or grenades research, but unlikely either at this moment of time. It's hard for me to estimate fuel. No supply yard research there. So overall, I think what we see is what he has. Oh, you know, what he has is one very wounded engineer squad. He does fall back with all models there, which means no manpower blade. Which will be a bit of downtime to get them healed up, and probably all those wounds stitched up. The initiative. At this rate, we'll be taking Berlin by Multiple flame engineers are flooded in the field. We've got three in total, or two in total. One unupgraded engineer. May want to keep it as an unupgraded engineer. Maybe I for our minesweeper later on. Jeep received a bit of fire there, but still has plenty of health to escape on out. There is a Wehrmacht landmine there, which the Jeep did not hit. He may have saw that, spotted that being laid down. And now that the Folks Grandiers and Pioneers engage the Rifleman Squad. Folks Grandiers not really behind any like cover, a couple models are. The Rifleman Squad does fall back there. Entry 42 is trying to set him up. The landmine should, could have saved him. Uh, Pants Files trying to be fired there. Looks like there's a, a lining for shot there, fires, the and fires, and fires. And Jeep does go down. Nothing else being pulled out of the moment. Both two and Deers seem to fire there. Flamage here is overseeing some suppression there from the MG42. We do have another structure down here. It's a Kriegsberg. After that, we'll likely see the Comp Cross Center. The amount of Volkswagen on the field we really should eye for infantry veterans in. And Pioneer veterans or uh, support weapons veterans never hurts as well. I won't say veterans never hurts as well. It just matter if you go for more than one level, it tends to be a bit more of investment. Pioneer singular looks like landing laid down a landmine, may have been spotted out. And 42 gains some damage there on the rifle squad. Got the Volkswagen here engaged in the flame engineers. Flame engineers trying to advance forward. There's a bit of heavy cover there. And flame engineers will receive a bit of damage. It does fall back now. We're losing a munitions point. Seems a bit of sound bugs there. Weird. And not the Cover 2 sound bug. I think it's just this map just not cooperating with my graphic card because now the sound's being synced. Okay, after this game, remind me to restart the game because, oh, I'm hitting a, what is going on? Yeah, I'm hitting by, getting hit by a lot of lag spikes. This map does not cooperate out well. So after this uh, replay, I'm going to restart the game quite before I go to the next one. I, right from squad does really escape on out of there. What the hell is this map? I just need to not cast this map anymore. It is far. Something just ain't right about this map of the, my graphics card. It does not like each other. Engineer squad does fall back there. Rifleman's captured this fuel point. And Pioneer's advance forward. We do got a camouflage pack 38. He's really going to make sure that advance is undetected. Motor pool now being fully built. No doctrine selected just yet. And we do have Veteran C1 on Volkswagen. He does have a Compacraft Center. No doctrine appear to be selected either. Ooh, that Volks just needs to fall back. Far, far too wounded. In fact, his Volkswagen are pretty wounded all across the board. This one's getting reinforced. That it will help without that with that part. But this Volkswagen is also quite wounded. Three models with less than half health each. 
Right from the squad, we're seeing a bit of damage there. Pioneers and Engineers engaged in a close range. And the Volkswagen is getting some damage there. But I think he's trying to hit that roll. Not sure we're seeing. You don't see it sitting in the Volkswagen here. It's not the MP42. But right from the squad, advances the flank. Engineers, without the flank guard, advance the forward. There is a Bearmock landmine there, which could be spotted. Oh, that one was detected as well by some feet. Ooh, Volkswagen just wanted to fall back. Multiple Engineers wipe out a single Volkswagen Deer. Very, very good pick there by the US player. We got regular Grenadiers being deployed on out of the field. He has two MG42s as well. If he really should eye for a light view or support infantry if I can see. That's two MG42s, three Pioneers, so also give them some much needed health regen. Now do you got the MG42 falling back, Rayhound advancing on forward. There was only a crater there. There's the other landmine. US player does still have engineer unupgraded, so you may want to eye that one to be a minesweeper. Nope, they're all upgraded flamers, looks like now. Both experience appearance. Ooh, Pack 30 finds a good hit there. I didn't realize that uh, Greyhound's already pretty wounded. Folks around here, game, fighting out the Rifleman. And now the Swarthman squad does fall back there. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. Yeah. Rifleman squad falls back as well from the Pioneer, apparently. Fresh Grandier advancing forward, does inside this little house there. There is now another engineer there, so I believe that's a fourth engineer. If it's fourth engineer, Going for a flamethrower. Okay, I was thinking, oh, he's going to get a fourth engineer just for the minesweeper. Nope. Quadruple flamer engineers, three riflemen, one sauerkraut, extra crispy. Does dodge a grenade there. The other flamer engineer does fall back. Rifleman squad eyeing for the heavy cover there. We've got the two Volks grenadiers as well as the grenadiers in the region. Does leave, receive some more flamer bursts. And they all We're fall back to guard. He's focused factor. down that or uh, engineer as quickly as possible, and does get wiped out. Rifflemen are quite healthy. These forces are not healthy whatsoever. Even when the Vermont player wins this fight, he's falling needs to fall back. We do now have Alpha Howard shoot available, so he has gone for infantry. I'm not sure if he has XCM2 just yet, but I don't believe so. Now we do have the. Pioneers can force back by the Flamer Engineer. These horses do win out. The Grenadiers do have three models there, so get enough time to health regen will be useful, plus the four man squad. Another Rifle Squad advanced forward. And do have the MP42 inside this garrison, does have Vegetary support weapons. And we do have now bar research being pulled out as I click on the invisible button. No supply yard upgrades just yet. Right from the squad will continue Ground to receive suppressive fire. Bearmock player still has four command points. We can have a fresh half shot here. Okay, that will give him some four frontline reinforcements, including the M242. Right from, right from the squad may receive some additional suppression soon from the 251 half track. Maybe going to load up a pioneer inside the half track and get the grenadiers out of it. And looks like the rifle squad does recover on suppression right there. Folks around here do drop the model there after being reinforced with their fifth model there. Rifle squad does get some continuous suppression over there. And now we do got these rifle squads facing forward. Flame engineers are facing forward as well. We've got multiple Volks in the region. Flame engineers facing along the road. This clash on this MG42 along multiple flakes here. Needs to either withdraw it or let it die. MG42 does get out of the garrison there. It does full withdrawal. Volks Grenadiers maybe I to get inside the half track. That's probably best load up and drive on out of there. So right now he's received a bit too much fire there. That's Volks Grenadiers in a good position there. Right from the middle three models over right there. And now he does fully withdraw there. Does receive suppressive fire there from the 251 half track. Both these weapons and right from the squads are currently suppressed. And we do got a medic here. So we do have a medic station for the air player right there. A little bit out in the open, but it's far enough forward to get some good amount of casualties recovered. Assume they stay alive. Medic model dancing around a little bit. The Grand Deer, Volks Grand Deer model there, maybe yeah, recovered relatively soon. On the ground there, and some of the mechs not trying to pick him up. Weird. 
Then we'll at least keep the medic alive. And we've got Blitzkrieg available. Uh, Ghost Player Cowling and GG. He's like a little bit too early for that. Uh, I think the US player is surrendering. I think he, while well, losing a rifleman squad and losing flame material, what made him surrender? Uh, the engineer just got thrown away, and that's the end of the replay. Was that some sort of force sink air? Uh, I'm not so sure what how that. I'm not so sure what happened there, but either way, it seemed like a little bit too early to call him GG. But either way, this is Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.